Hey guys, I'm Zesty. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a chain for your mask. I figured out a super easy way on how to make these chains to hold onto your mask with really affordable uh, supplies and materials and it took me maybe a few minutes to make all of them. I'm gonna show you guys how to make three different ones. This one here that I'm wearing is the longest one that I've made and it's great because you just kind of wear it as like a, like a necklace almost. And then you can just kind of uh, let it hang down here like this so that it doesn't fall. I'm also going to show you two other ones I've made. I've made two shorter ones. So I have this little one here. Um, depending on the type of mask you have, some of them fold a little bit nicer. So they'll just kind of hang like this. Um, regardless, this is really great if you're just, you know, running to the grocery store, even if you are going to a restaurant or anywhere out that you need to be wearing one of these, it's great to have because that way you're not stuffing your mask in your purse or in a bag where it could potentially get dirty. And this way you're not losing it. It's really accessible. You can take it on and off really easily and it's comfortable. So just like that, I actually like how this looks when it's on. Um, I don't know why I just I think it looks cute so I don't mind how it looks on or off I think it looks great this one here that's all gold I actually didn't use any wire and I only use materials from the dollar store now with this chain specifically you would need to buy two necklaces from the dollar store to make this if you didn't want to buy any any extra lobster clasps you're gonna basically need to find two necklaces from the dollar store that have the same lobster clasp but this one turned out super cute i think that this one is actually my favorite one i think it looks the most finished and uh nice because of the gold okay so for supplies i picked up two necklaces from the dollar store this one here with lots of chains on it and this shorter black one both of these had gold lobster clasps on it and i also purchased extra lobster clasps from michael's and I use this craft wire that I had on hand. For tools, you will need a wire cutter as well as a pair of pliers. I'm gonna start by showing you how I turned this black necklace into a chain. The first thing I did was remove the lobster clasp, jump ring, and chain from the necklace. So I started by prying the jump ring open like so. And then I took the jewel off. Because this one has a gold lobster clasp, I wanted them to match, so I ended up removing that clasp and saved it for my all gold chain. This way, I could add two gray clasps to each end. Next, I took some of this craft wire and cut two pieces about the size of my palm so that they would be easy to work with. So what I did was loop the wire through the hole like so. And then I added the lobster clasp to the wire. Then I took one end of the wire and I looped it through the lobster clasp and necklace and pulled it so that it would create this tight little loop. And I looped this through twice around the clasp and the necklace and then once more just through the lobster clasp 
And then I wrapped it around the clasp once before I snipped it with the wire cutters. Now it's really important that you use pliers to press the wire into the clasp so that it doesn't poke out because if it does poke out, it could be itchy or scratchy on the skin. After I was done that, I snipped the other piece of the wire and also used my pliers on it. So I did this to both sides and then it was done. To put it on your mask, you just have to clip it onto the top sides of the elastic like so. For the next chain, I only used supplies from the dollar store and some pliers. So I took apart this long necklace by removing the chain from the jump rings as well as the lobster clasp and the jump ring. So here you're going to want to keep both of the jump rings as well as the lobster clasp. And I'm also using the other gold lobster clasp that I removed from the first necklace for this. So I just kept those aside while I measured and cut out my chain. And I cut it around the same length as the black one that I made previously with my wire cutters. Once my chain was ready, I attached the loose clasp to the jump ring, and then I added one end of the chain to the same ring. Once I had both pieces on the jump ring, I held them together with my hand and then I used my pliers to close the rings so that the clasp and the chain wouldn't fall out. You want to be really gentle when you're doing this so that you don't warp the jump ring too much, uh, but you do want to tighten it just enough so that these aren't going to fall out. And I repeated all the same steps on the other side and that completes this chain. For the third chain, I used this chain that I purchased at Michael's. The first thing I did was measure out the length that I wanted it to be, and I cut it with my wire cutters. The steps to make this one are really similar to the first chain that I made. The main difference here is that I made a loop around the chain first before adding my lobster claps to it, just so that it would be a little bit more secure. I also only looped it once through the clasp before tightening it and snipping it with my wire cutters. And once I was done that, I used my pliers again to press in the wire so that, it, so that it wouldn't poke out. And that pretty much sums up this chain tutorial. These were so easy and I think they turned out absolutely great. 
Thanks so much for watching guys. If you found this video useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to get notified every time I upload a video. Thanks again and see you all very soon. Bye.